iOS 26 running slow? Bugs driving you crazy? And now you're wondering, can you still downgrade? Well, the answer is not what you expect. Let's break it down real quick. Hey everyone, in this quick guide, we're going to clear the confusion around downgrading from iOS 26 back to an older version. First thing you have to know, Apple only allows downgrades while the previous iOS version is still signed. Once Apple stops signing it, downgrading becomes impossible through normal methods, no matter which iPhone you use, including the iPhone 17 series. To check if a version is still signed, you can visit IPSW websites that list signing status in real time. If it shows signed, you can download that firmware and restore using Finder on Mac or iTunes on Windows. But here's the catch. With iOS 26, Apple has been closing signing windows much faster. That means most users only have a few days, sometimes just hours, to roll back. If the version you want is no longer signed, there's no official or safe downgrade path. No third-party tool, no trick, and no workaround can bypass Apple's signing lock. So, bottom line, if iOS 26 is giving you issues, check the signing status immediately. If the downgrade window is still open, act fast. If it's closed, your only options are waiting for a patch update or resetting your iPhone for a fresh start. I recommend backing up and doing a factory restore to fix the bug. Check my separate tutorial given in the video description. Thanks for watching. If you want a step-by-step -step downgrade tutorial, comment below and I'll cover it next.